the Nigerian Navy has expressed commitment to provide support in the upcoming elections in Nigeria. It says it will help the electoral umpire to identify hotspots of criminals and to ensure a free, fair and credible election. At the presentation of its operational scorecard for 2018, the Nigerian Navy says one hindrance to its operations is lack of sufficient information to identify creeks which is an abode of criminals. Now the contemporary security challenges in Nigeria also mandates closer cooperation between the military and the media so that we can be on the same page most of the time. The Nigerian Delta ranks as the ninth largest in the world, with seabun trade accounting for over 80% of total commerce between Nigeria and other countries of the world. In 2018, about 637 legal sites were destroyed, 340 persons involved in maritime crime bunkery were arrested, 1,933 illegal storage can destroyed, 46 vehicles for carrying illegal refined oil destroyed, and 277,040 litres of crude oil seized. That the general elections is around the corner and of course the Nigerian Navy is poised to do its utmost in support, first of all essentially of the Nigeria police, that's the lead agency when it comes to internal security situations and particularly for elections in the country. And of course we are aware that also the INEC may require us to do one or two things for them by way of moving electoral materials to areas that the Navy operates. Within the last two years, 214 ships were seized, but only nine cases were prosecuted, with 91 cases still ongoing. The Navy wants more advocacy for the prosecution of maritime offences, saying it helped deter criminals as over 250 riverine patrol boats has been procured for maritime surveillance. On the screen, we have listed a number of threats that exist in Nigeria's maritime environment, starting from illegal bunkering could oil theft to maritime terrorism. It is not a threat that is news to us, but the efforts the Nigerian Navy is making towards combating them. With the Navy highlighting the challenges it faces in it during oppression, it says it expects more cooperation from the media and other well-meaning Nigerians to help in tackling crimes and criminality and also to move the force forward. In Abuja, Buluato Bienito, reporting for Root TV, Nigeria.